that's going to be number three and number four. Time waits for no one. So we got our leveled up zillion. And now we can play like Harold and then get a fleeting copy of Harold. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zillion Swain, first of three viewer submitted donation decks today. So this is going to be a Zillion Swain control deck that also focuses on the landmarks and having our own landmarks be destroyed. Of course, time bombs, those are really good landmarks to have destroyed. So we're gonna be looking for Zillion and looking for time bombs quite a bit. We have some other ones that, that are, you know, like your ancient preparations, your rock hoppers making the roiling sands, you know, some stuff like that, some easy landmarks to destroy. Unraveled Earth getting you the two roiling sands. The reason why is because we have two copies of Herald of the Magus, um, or however you wanna pronounce that, Magus, at, at uh, the five mana slot to go along with Swain, because if we have our four plus allied landmarks destroyed this game, we play our Herald, it grants our champions everywhere plus two, plus two, and overwhelm, and that's awesome with Swain, right? Because then we level up our Swain with all of our other non-combat damage, especially those time bombs. And then you have a six-powered Swain that's fearsome and overwhelm and has this awesome Nexus Strike ability really powerful swain and so that's what we kind of have going on here is trying to put those together i think that could be really really cool so i'm looking forward to that besides that lots of removal to level up swain and uh that's kind of about it for the deck so here we go we're gonna go play our five games in ranked and we're gonna try some zillion swain we got poppy zigs to start with poppy zigs turning into a popular deck Okay, we're gonna send all of that back. I, maybe I'm supposed to send the Death Sand back also. I wanna kinda have some baseline in case we get a bad mulligan like that. All right, House Spider, do some blocking for us. This is a perfect House Spider. Yeah, it just trades with both of them. They went ahead and passed the round. Um, could really use a Ravenous Flock, assuming they play Poppy. No Ravenous Flock, but man, what a hand. Yeah, throw out these two and then Zigs the, into Poppy. That's a hand, but no flock for us. One for you and one for you. I guess I could have played Swain and then would have had a Ravis Flock from the Swain. I'm thinking... I see what I'm doing this and getting a point of damage on the Ziggs for the Scorched Earth. at zero. That's not very much. Hey, Scarrots. Do you want to build a Ziggs Misfortune deck? Yes. 
Block there, block there, block here. Wayne's at three. Six, seven. The fuse of the memory. We should have led with the ancient preparations. If I would have not blocked the two three and taken that extra two points of damage, then you know our Time Bomb would have done one additional point. It would have been 8 out of 12. And then this makes it... I'm trying to debate whether to just challenge the Poppy or to use the Ravenous Flock. The reason to not use the Ravenous Flock is so that then I can you know, have Ravenous Flock for future Poppy. I kind of feel like that's what they want to do, is play a new Poppy. You think I should be challenging? Yeah, that's that's the thing. I wasn't sure. After the battle, the is challenging makes this Swain vulnerable to dying, you know, with only the two health. Not challenging, you know, it's got a lot of health here. It's a much better blocker. Wouldn't be a quest without some danger. Huh. I... Yeah, I wasn't expecting transfusion at all, but I guess the conchologist made transfusion. That's... That's lethal. Or that puts me down to one. Not exactly expecting that. Turns out when every single card in your deck makes creates another one, your deck's gonna be pretty good. Alright, we got Draven Scion up next. Yeah, Bandle's the two two for one region. Everything's two for one. I guess we keep this. I just, I'm not sure about this, these ancient preparations. We saw like that last game, ancient preparations just really do nothing. That countdown too is pretty rough, but we need to have landmarks get destroyed for our Magus, so um, it's just fine playing it here on round. Do I want this house spider? It's just fine playing it here on round one. It's just any other round after round one. It's it's very poor, but it's just fine on round one. All right, definitely, <clears throat> definitely greedy of me. We didn't really have anything to do right there, but I, I was thinking about I was probably gonna pass, but I decided just to get a Leviathan in my hand. I'm gonna really want Leviathan later. I'll just get that Leviathan. Time for the main event. But this is the problem with this card. Okay, it does find me sentry. That's good. Does find me sentry. I go, I go. Of course, I'm planning on sentry flock to kill Draven.
I became a soldier. I think I'm okay if they like challenge and then also like Mystic Shot or get excited and kill Swain. I think I'm okay with that because we're gonna we can draw another Swain with this Leviathan, and that's like you know slowing them down and a lot of damage that's not going to my Nexus. I wish we could play more Zillions. I want those time bombs. Yeah, because as we see, like, that slows them down quite a bit. Puts that thing back in their hand. Hey, more zillions. No! Aloof Travelers. It's like the worst thing for Leviathan to ever see. Would you look at this place? You think they should nerf a loop so it doesn't hit champions? Not sure if we'll really do a whole lot else with Flock, so I guess so. Talizu says, says, I think that might be a good edit. High cost champs are always hedged out to time and resources. That's part of why Sion is so pushed. Poor Trinomir just trying to exist in a hostile world. Does The cards that they printed in this last expansion really, really is trying to push out the expensive champions, right? With Aloof Traveler's Mini Morph. Man, that aloof traveler is hitting my Leviathan was so sad. So we just kind of, like, we started okay in that game, but we just ended up just drawing all sorts of just two mana units. And that, that was it, you know, especially after that aloof travelers, we just didn't have any power. Hey, Lucas. Alright, good. Good to start with Zillion. And we have Sentry Flock combo. 
Both of those not are very good things. I'm going to send the Unraveled Earth back. Hello. We need that Whisper Words last game, and the Herald of the Magus last game also would have been really nice. Maybe not quite as nice this game. We got one time bomb. Make haste. Okay, second time bomb. Very good. We'll take a hit here. But... Wow. Why would they not attack with the other stuff? Everything's gonna die. Makes it where they can't really play a poppy. This is going pretty well for us. I would like to kill that card, yes, please. Thank you. I don't know why I'm not attacking with Zillion. I should. They should be at 17. Um, yeah, let me just play this. So that's going to be number three and number four. So we got our leveled up Zillion. And now we can play like Harold and then get a fleeting copy of Harold the next round and play another Harold <laughs> and just go crazy with Harold's. <laughs> Hi, I'm Harold. Very one attack. Okay, that's cool. No good. All right, so our champs are pretty big. I should make a speech. Where's my speech? Sure, you want to do this? Shall we bully off? Absolutely. Top hole. That's a lot of blocking. Big Zills. So that that's pretty cool. That's this is what our deck's supposed to do. That's pretty cool. So now next round we'll get two more arachnoid sentries and another ravenous flock. So that's pretty awesome. We can probably attack first though. These look like good attacks. I'll put them down to wool. Oh right, never mind, overwhelm. I was gonna say one, but I forgot about the overwhelm. Negative four, alright, GG's. Alright, we are one and two. Yeah, and then we get the regular flock that's one mana, you know, not non-pranked. Yeah, a good leveled up Zillion is very, 
uh, satisfying. Definitely. It's hard to... It's hard not to keep Flock. We really want Sentry. You know, we want the other part of the combo. Uh oh Okay. Going to grab Zillion. Make some time bombs. Time bombs. All paths leave me here. Make haste. Yeah, so a landmark version of Zillion Swain. I like it too. We could see going a little heavier into the landmarks. We were talking about like the three mana three three that whenever it dies it makes a landmark. That makes the sarcophagus. I've got your back. Um I guess you do. Badger Bear. Oh, I should attack with my Zillion also. Yeah, Harold giving Swain Overwhelm and, you know, growing Swain and giving Swain Overwhelm sounds awesome. Cool. Gotta trade with the sharp sight. Alright, team, adventure time. My plan is to be able to block and flock. That thing. So if I cast Flock on the 4 2, that's not really worth it. Attacking with Zillion, having it die, and getting a new Zillion. That's good. Alright, so Swain will be leveled up. Awesome. Time Bomb will level up the Zillion. Sun and steel. So I kinda wait I kinda wanna wait till next round to play this Herald as we did last time. Like after Zillion's leveled up, play Herald, and then we get a new Herald. I think we have time to do that. To protect all unyielding. Here, take it. All right. Um, I'll just pay three and draw a card. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we are doing a good job finding the time bombs.
So that's two. Now I can play another time bomb here, make a, make a time bomb for the next round also. Also, Ancient Hourglass, the Herald. I just know the heroes around here somewhere. And then it'll come back and everything. Really hope they don't have another one of those. Alright, good. They don't have another barrier. Um, I think I'm just gonna pass also. I mean, it's not bad attacking, but I'm gonna... I don't know. I don't want... They have all this mana here. I don't want them doing random stuff. Ooh, Flock's good. We didn't. Flock is good. Shining gifts from the sky. The great Vedas leads us to glory. Awesome. That worked out just really, really well. How did that work out well? Hmm. Alright, fine. I'm attacking. Submit. A sacrifice. All right, so now we'll have an hourglass for next round, and then of course this is going to come back again. Summon plus two, plus two, the champions yet again. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. I'll go ahead and reflock this. GGS, dude, Harold. Harold with Zillion. That is aw that's a cool combo. Time is a teacher that's a cool combo. We got to do that twice. Two and two. Darkness control. How good are we at uh, killing Vagar? This looks pretty good at killing Vagar. We'll get rid of the Leviathan. We got Sentry Flock. Kill a Vagar. Only I can command darkness. Only I. So I want to. I want to death hand this thing, right? Because I don't want to grant extra damage. <clears throat> oh come on, another one. That's just like the best, yeah. You know, like that's just like the best thing to be doing is getting increasing the damage, and that's why I only just attacked there for one and passed the round because of Vagar. But man, that's this is the dream. Getting those two drops in Vagar is being able to increase damage. That's all you want with the Darkness Death. So uh, we're we're doing a good job slowing them down. At least they've had you know three of the best cards to have early, and they've only increased the damage by one. So that part's good, that we're slowing them down like that.
That's unfortunate. Alright, there we go. Two and two. Finally can update the record. Wasting three mana. Don't love that at all. I guess we're going to take this Herald, but I'm kind of running out of cards. I'd say like Mini Morph Swain, we're in a lot of trouble. We just have more card advantage than us, and that's what these kind of control v control usually comes down to card advantage. Extra damage. Make the darkness your own. Alright, so the, the hope... The hope is they can't kill the Swain. You know, the hope is they don't have any more for Vengeance. If they don't have any more for Vengeance, we're going to be looking good. me also. Man. Okay, we got another stress defense out of their hand. I don't know if they realize that that wasn't going to kill the Vagar. The Vagar had five health anyway. That was just a complete waste of a card. So that's good. Probably just have to play this for uh, blocking purposes from an open attack.
Life is cyclical. Darkness ends. Yeah, I just ran out of cards again. So our losses are... Some of our losses are just us running out of cards. Long road behind, long road ahead. But this Darkness deck really does have a lot of card advantage. It's easy to run out of cards against it. But... This is not the end. Our deck looked great whenever we had Zillion. When we don't have Zillion, our deck doesn't look so good. But Zillion was the car, like Zillion with time bombs. And when we had that, our deck looked awesome. And, you know, we were 2 0 with the, having like round two Zillion with time bombs. Otherwise, you know, not so good. We weren't really able to play Leviathan ever. I think I'd kind of maybe get rid of the Unraveled Earth. I know Unraveled Earth draws a card, but the Roiling Sands really didn't matter in our deck. I think that they were, you know, not, not very important. I know that we need landmarks to be destroyed for Herald, but I think that if we played, I think if the Unraveled Earths were like Endless Devouts, we get like a blocker that, that does matter, and then we get like the 5-3 in a couple of rounds. You know, like that could just give us another like body that matters that also, you know, helps our Herald and everything. I think that Endless Devout's kind of a card that we could use more of. I don't know, the rest was pretty good. I think I think that was a card that, that underperformed was that Unraveled Earth. Need need another body. I think it's fine. I think we. I think I need to. Okay, so basically, I think what what I learned is I need to mulligan for Zillion more. I think I was keeping too many cards that I didn't need to keep. I think I should have mulliganed looking for Zillion more than what I did. Um, but I do like this endless devout quite a bit as just another uh, really good quality blocker. But I don't know. I want to play it some more. I I just think that there's some really some really cool stuff here. And, uh, you know, I want to get some more testing with it. But I, I did like Herald of the Magus with Zillion and Swain. And just like a, a more landmark kind of deck with Zillion and Swain because of this card. I think that, that that does have a good amount of potential. I like it. All right. Anyway, that's our first deck of the day. Zillion and Swain, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. And let me know if you have any ideas for the deck. I would appreciate hearing what you got. Um, and, you know, feel feel free to try out the Endless Devout. Let me know how that card goes for you. But that's going to be it for this, uh, for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.